A lot of times in life, man, things don't work out how you want it to. I thought I was gonna get here earlier. I woke up nice and early, and it ends up being a shit ton of traffic, and I'm late as hell. So, we're at Cars and Coffee. Oh man, hold up. Sorry for the interruption, but sheesh. This place is so fire, like, you just walk around and just see some of the craziest shit. But yeah, we had Cars and Coffee. It ends at 11, I get here at 10.40. There was like 45 minutes worth of traffic. But it's all right, we're here now, and it's a beautiful day, so. See, the toys are always spread out here. They're everywhere. That shit scared the shit out of me. All right, man, let's go see what else they got. Now, I don't know how this audio is going to come out because it is windy as hell right now. Everybody's dressed up. It doesn't look like Cali because we got full jeans on, sweaters, whatever. But in the meantime, check this out. We got like a mini McLaren lineup right here. So, 650S. It's probably one of my favorites. I love the taillights on these things. Another 650, Spiders, the 458, 488, whichever. Another one, and of course the crazy blue 720. This blue is just sick. That whole lineup is fire though. The reason the 650S gotta be my favorite out of all the McLarens is because of Forza. If you know, you know, but the wide body kit in Forza on the McLarens with these tail lights goes so fire. It's literally been my dream. Ever since I built my Forza 650S, like these just became so much more fire in real life. Before I used to never like them, but after that game, forget about it. Lately, I've been seeing these around and they're slowly starting to grow on me. I don't know if you guys know this about Aston Martin, but this is the number one depreciating car out of all the car luxury brands like I don't think any of them depreciate like this but they, I don't know why they look so cool and they sound ridiculous here we got the DBS if you look at it from the side like this is car is so huge the road presence on this is like insane for real it's fire though now I know this color is subjectable some of you may like it some of you may not Honestly, I love it. It reminds me of an old Honda color called Midori Green. Now, I don't know if this is wrap, paint. It looks pretty much like paint, but I'm 90% sure it's a wrap. Still a crazy color. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Midori Green on like 1996 to 2000 Honda Civics. Fire color. Gotta give credit when it's due. Probably the only Civic in this whole supercar me. We got the Teggy right there too, but he on the Workmeisters. I like it. Ah, I don't 
only show cars like these because I'm not really into them. I don't really know what I've been looking at. I know this is like supercharged, clearly. Now, this one is a Whipple supercharger. What kind of motor it is, I don't know. Is it LS? I think so. Am I 100% right? You're going to correct me. So go in the comments, let me know. They're both Camaro, so I just want to know. Oh, it is. LS3 6.2. I was right. Back to back LS's, two different superchargers. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really an American guy. I stick to Japanese. I know when y'all watch me, it's not always just about all the old or, I mean, it's not all about all the new cars. We also got to show love to this stuff we don't even know about. So, if y'all know what this is, comment down below. Literally have no clue what this is or what year, but it looks sick. The engine looks insane. Look at that. It's a Jaguar. What kind is the question? Definitely, definitely, definitely feel like we've seen more than five of these on the channel. Are they the same five? Possibly. But this one is probably the only one we haven't seen unless they made some changes because this thing looks sick. Present to you guys the legendary F40. I don't know if those wheels are stuck. I think they are. Maybe they just painted them. But the interior is sick. Red seatbelts. My favorite part though, I ain't gonna lie to ya, is this wing. Look at that. It's definitely custom, but it's like carbon with like a whole different middle. This car is so sick. Now I just go start walking to my car. All of a sudden I see this. Come on, come on, come on. Fire APR wing on the back. Can't fuck with that. Alright man. We came a little late, so we got to see just a select number of cars, but we still seen some heat. So I can't sit here and complain, but I would have liked to see more cars, but it is what it is. Now, we got a long trip back home. Just been here thinking how this year, we got to go harder. We got to film more videos. The break is over. We got to get right. So, I'm hoping I can start coming to at least this event every week. And we got to find another event every week for the next 12 months. So, we have a guaranteed two videos a week. And then, in the midst of that, we'll do a little extra vid here and there. But, with that being said, this meet is over, so I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. You already know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I appreciate it. I'm going to see you guys on the next one, man. Peace. One of the most legendary cars right here, bro. This is going down to history forever. This is sick. Viper, Corvette, Shelby, fire.